Hello everyone. So today I want to show you this uh, feature on Jira Cloud to link your uh, sprints to a page in uh, Confluence. Now, if you're a Scrum Master, I'm sure this would be beneficial and useful. And I think it is good to have this feature in Jira, although it is not really perfect, but to be honest, uh, it is better than nothing. Now, if you're looking at, let us say, your backlog, we have in this backlog sprint 2, sprint 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Now, this option to create uh, a linked page is there on the on the, on the the right-hand side. So, for example, if you're looking at sprint uh, 4, and if you click on this view linked pages, there is an option here called uh, link it to a page and also to create a page. So let us see how it works. So maybe for my sprint three, which is ongoing, or maybe it is planned, I want to store maybe my sprint updates, meeting minutes somewhere in a conference page. So I'll click on it, view linked pages, and there is an option to create a page. So let us let us see how it works. So I'll create a new page and I'll uh, name it as, uh, okay, I'll wait for the pop-up to appear. So let us create a let, let us create uh, this in this particular space and uh, click on the create button. And uh, if I give this a name, sprint three updates, blah, 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 and so on. So a simple page, it is done. Now, if you look at this page, there is no mention or reference to the sprint. So to be honest, it's okay. Because if I have to refer my sprint, I'll probably just you now copy the JQL of my sprint and, and I'll paste it here. But uh, if I look at uh, my Jira backlog, I'll refresh it. And we did it for sprint number three. I can now click on uh, this option, view link pages, and it is not really automatically uh, updating the page which I just created created but i can obviously link it so i can say sprint updates and uh, i can select here uh, what is the name sprint 3 i guess yeah sprint 3 so now it is working fine and if i go back uh, so there is no like from confluence there is no go going back to jira but uh, i can definitely look at my sprint uh, number 3 and this is i believe all right i don't really complain because uh, if i look at my sprint i can see the linked pages and I can also link it to one more. So I, I'm not really limited to just uh, one page or uh, or basically there is no one to one mapping, which is good. So I can also have like two sprints or not sprints, uh, one sprint link to multiple pages. But this is to be honest, uh, uh, although it is very simple, it is not perfect, but it is still good because when you're looking at the backlog, you have the ability to because if you're a scrum master if i'm let us say a scrum master i would tell my developers or my team members okay you want to refer to all the all the updates of this particular sprint everything that we are discussing in our daily stand-up call look at this particular uh, page but to be honest because i work with scrum masters I, i'm i'm part of the sprint calls and uh, teams scrum teams i think if you're if you're trying to talk to your team members every day which you should like get an update on the on the stand up calls try to do things within the tool within jira like if if you have to update something update it only create these documents uh, for something which you can't do in jira so if you need to store some commentary ask yourself do you really need those meeting minutes because meeting minutes, I have absolutely no problem with meeting minutes, but people don't really do anything about it. And in a way, if you're a manager, you're not really uh, there to just record everything in a page. It is, to be honest, not really the best use of your time and skill. If you're a manager, you're supposed to deliver or you're supposed to lead, you're supposed to manage the team and uh, don't really just, you know, <laughs> Don't, don't really just record everything in a page if you're not really doing anything about it. I hope you understand. Only only 
create a page when you're storing something like in a structured manner, which you will use later on. Maybe it could be a technical design document or some requirements or some discussions or brainstorming. That is fine. But if you're just storing your meeting minutes, then that is probably not the right way or best way of doing things. And at the same time, uh, having this ability is great because now you can go back to your page from your Jira sprint or basically from your backlog. And if you are in the active uh, sprint uh, view, here you can definitely take a look at your sprint, which is great. But I was hoping that we can have a similar link or the same link or links somewhere here, uh, which I don't really see, which is fine. I don't really complain too much about it, but uh, I don't really, I mean, because I'm just, because people spend a lot of time on the board itself. So I guess there should be some way to refer to those links from the board view, but it is still good. And I just wanted to show you, uh, not really the feature, but I also wanted to give you my perspective on things because uh, when when I do things in Jira or if I'm making a video, I'm not really talking about just Jira as a tool. I'm just talking about, uh, I'm also talking about uh, uh, how to use the tool to deliver. And people often forget that Jira is a tool, end of the day, and uh, it will facilitate or help you in doing your work, but not really do the work for you. So don't really uh, overwhelm yourself with bureaucracy and uh, complex configurations, workflows and features of the tool. Uh, based on your role, do what you're supposed to do. I guess that is what I wanted to wanted to share in this video, along with, of course, this small, nice feature. All right, that is it. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And you, and you learn something new. Thank you very much.